Well, it's Friday, it is January the 9th, and now after a brief break over the holidays, we get things back to normal, and joining us on the line is our astronomer extraordinaire, Andrew Fazekas. Good morning, Andrew. Well, good morning, Emily, and Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Did you have a good holiday season? Oh, wonderful. A lot of family and friends, and I even did some really nice stargazing. I bet. You know, I was stargazing myself a couple of those nights. I saw some pretty interesting stuff. Uh, yeah, you know, winter skies are really a, a great time to do starting. Even though it's cold, you bundle up, or even if you don't want to go outside, look out the window. There's lots to see. That's what I did. I was <laughs> inside looking out, because that's just the way it suits me the best. Now, in terms of uh, sky gazing for this weekend, what can we expect to see? Well, you know, we're going to kick off the year with something that uh, I would consider for any stargazer an old friend that comes along every winter, every January, and that's the, uh, the Orion constellation. And this is the, the powerhouse of all constellations in the winter time. It's probably the one that most pe people who don't even know the sky would, would notice at first. It's, uh, it's a beautiful constellation with a set, a set of seven stars that are very bright, and there's three stars that mark sort of like a line that is very readily visible. But what we're going to concentrate on is the two brightest ones in the constellation Orion. And uh, th this, this constellation, like I said, is very easy to see. It's marked out sort of like a, a rectangle in the southern sky in the mid-evening, around 8 o'clock. You look towards the south. You can't miss it. And the two brightest stars are Betelgeuse and Rigel. Hmm. Now, Rigel is to the lower right, and you'll notice that it's bluish in color. And this is a really, really cool star because uh, it's, it's, it's 700 light years away from us, and it's, and it's 60,000 times brighter than our sun. So it's a really big powerhouse. Then if we look at the other one to the left of it is Betelgeuse, and it's actually orange in color. So it's a beautiful contrast in two different colors, right side by side. And this star is also is one of the largest stars that we know of. In fact, it's, if it was replaced by our sun, if you, you, you replace our sun with this star in our solar system, its edge would reach out to Jupiter. That's how big it is. Wow. So it, it's a huge thing, and, peop and astronomers think it's going to go supernova in the next 100,000 years. Wow. So it's got some interesting story attached to it. So this is stuff that you can see in the sky right now without binoculars or telescopes. Just go outside or look out your window. You can get a pretty good tan with that if it switched it with the sun. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> now, in terms of our cosmic quiz, uh, what do you have for us today? Well, talking about Orion, Orion is the mythical symbol for, for what? Hmm. Could it be A, the hunter, B, the strong man, or how about C, the sorcerer? Hmm, Andrew, I have a pretty good idea today. I think I do. And I'm going to guess, as always, 90% um, of the time I'm wrong. But this time I think I'm right. We'll get to that answer in just a sec. But first, uh, Space News, what do you have for us today? Well, this week at the uh, American Astronomy Society meeting, which is the biggest meeting of astronomer bigwigs around the world, uh, they announced that the Milky Way that we live in, our home galaxy, is bigger and faster than we thought. So we've got to fasten our seatbelts here <laughs> because astronomers have made very high precision measurements of our home galaxy, and it seems to be rotating 100,000 miles faster than we thought before. Wow. So if you think you were dizzy before, now you have a good reason. Because <laughs> that's pretty... And it takes us, get this, 300 million years to make one trip around our galaxy. Wow. That's a long time. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> it, it's, 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 you know, it's, it's amazing what we're finding out with our new telescopes, our large observatories. We're able to pinpoint exactly where our sun is in our galaxy and how fast we're moving. That's pretty neat. Okay, back to the cosmic quiz. You tell us the options. I'll guess my answer. You let me know if I'm right. <laughs> All right. The options are uh, what is, or, of course, Orion's mythical symbol for? Is it the hunter, the strongman, or the sorcerer? And the answer is A. I was right. Th it's the hunter. I was totally going to guess the hunter. <laughs> what do you That's know? That's absolutely right. Way to go. What do you know? Okay, thank you so much. As always, Andrew, a pleasure. If you want more information, all you have to do is go to his website. Stay tuned.